here we are, big water fishing fans. Another video, this one's with my longtime friend, Tom Vadalero, one of the co-owners of Vic Sports Centers over in the Kent, Akron area. And we shot this a little while ago. This, this is stuff that's been in the can for quite a while, a night fishing show. So I figured we'd just let you know that you know, we've grown and aged a little bit since this was shot. But the fish, I'll tell you what, are definitely grown back when we shot this, some big old nighttime walleye action. So stay tuned for this video that's been in the can for a while, but definitely worth the wait. Really, Tommy, I mean, everybody's deer hunting, you know, they're, they're duck hunting, they're doing other things. And there's really not a lot of guys out here. You know what, this is just an incredible time of the year for us to go out and catch some big walleye. And you're right, everyone wants to go deer hunting, everybody wants to go out and go duck hunting. I heard some shots just a little bit ago. We're going fishing. Stay tuned, we are gonna do something with the lights out that we can actually put on TV. Absolutely. You know, as we're setting up here, it's not pitch black yet, and we've got camera lights on, obviously they're trying to film a show, but if, if you're doing your own thing, really you want to keep the lights and everything to a minimum. You know, little headlamps and things to see your line counters and unhook fish are great, but you know, put a little red filter on them or keep them, you know, inside the boat. Don't shine your stuff on the outside. Having little LED strips on the bottom like I've got in my ranger here, nice because that light's not going to project into the water. And You know, the other thing is you get a lot of lights going, other boats see that, and they kind of climb on top of you, believe it or not. So. The less you can do with the lights, the better off you're gonna be. Guys night fishing that do it a lot, you know, they fish skinny water, that's where those walleyes kind of come up, but a lot of these fishing you're catching during the day, I mean, it just got dark a few minutes ago. I mean, we literally been fishing three minutes, and you know, those fish don't swim five miles from where everybody's fishing out during the day. I agree, especially with this full moon, they may stay out a little deeper tonight. You gotta be a little crazy to do this, but the rewards are there. I mean, catching big fish, and you know, I called my buddy Tom Vadalero in, because he's a little bit crazy too, and when we get together, there's not a lot of idle time, at least as far as talk goes, because me and him are just yipping and yapping. And... Are you a bass guy? Are, do you really have a girlfriend? There is no way someone would put up with you. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun out here, and me and him busting each other's chops just about all night, as you know there. Uh, it's just a good deal, but catching big fish, that's why we're here. That's the universal deal. It's gonna be a long night tonight. I'm not gonna get home till about two o'clock in the morning, but it is definitely worth losing some sleep to get to come up here and try to go for these giant walleye. The ability to come up and, and go out and go fishing and actually be able to have the chance at a state record is what it's, it's all about. Well, there he is. He's just a baby. He committed suicide, I'm telling you. It must have been my rod. My side catches them all. Okay. Well, guess what, Tommy? Is that outside? No. Did it go? Nope, didn't go. You sure? Almost positive. Okay. He ain't going back now. Look how nice little fish. Fat and chunky. Look at that, that bait's out too. Oh, I still got her. That still is a, yeah, that's a fat little monkey. This thing was hooked good enough that Tommy didn't even lose them because I'm Here, let you. me get my pliers on there. You want my pliers? I know you want my pliers. I want you just to watch everything. I don't know. Me and Tommy, we're good fishing buddies. We tend to mess with you a little bit. What a nice, healthy walleye. We're gonna keep a few to eat? I'd love to. Okay, I think it's only my second time out this year. What, it's a fish? First thing, we don't even got the camera rolling, Tommy. And what did you tell me? It's a... Uh, it's a big walleye. You know, that's why you come out for night fishing. I mean, really, the quality can really be a lot better than during the daytime. This time of year, it's, it's a lot better fish. The fish are fattening up, they got eggs in them. This but, one definitely feels better than that last one. That's cool. Say that. That's a good deal. But you know, that's, you know I don't even know if I've reeled a fish in. This is the second one this year. Usually I let Anthony reel them all you, in. You're on dad duty. Yeah, usually, well, you know, it's like it's like dealing with you most of the time. Kids, Ross. He said right out of the gate, I mean, boom, this is a big one, man. You know, get stuff ready, get lines out of the way. We cleared some lines out. When you get those big fish on, you gotta be prepared to make sure that your drag's already adjusted, that you got lines cleared away, and it was an absolute giant. I mean, Tom called a big fish, and that's what we put in the boat. Oh yeah, oh is. yeah, donkey daddy, donkey daddy. Yeah, that's a big one. Mm. I knew it was on my side of the boat, it had to be a big one. <sighs> you catch the babies, I catch the big ones. This is how it is. Deep chrome, what a beauty. Oh, daddy. That's and I'll wow. tell you what, I want to let these guys see this thing. Absolutely just T-boned this bait. Look at that. Boy, he did. Look at that thing. Just, he I wanted mean, that thing. It was hooked so good that you couldn't lose it. You know, it was just all my side of the boat. I set the hook on him. I did everything. It was perfect. <sighs> did you look at how far that was back? Yeah, that was like an artist. You notice that? This guy never stops. He's worse than me, and that's tough. That's tough. I owe you from the last show. 
Oh. Tommy lost so many fish. I, I literally thought he was had a, a soft spot in his heart for the fish. I really I'm did. I'm sending this one in the middle. You keep wow. playing around with that fish. This is why you get your hands yeah. cold, you put your long underwear on. That's a beauty. And you come Good out job, at man. night. That's a beauty. Tommy did a phenomenal job on that. He called it right out of the gate, man. So that's a big Just one. a big old giant. Look at that. Tommy, two things. My side. The, three things. <laughs> <laughs> I just said we haven't caught a fish in an inside board. Boom, inside board. Are you going to reel that thing? What are you doing? Nah, I was just looking at it. Yeah, I it's kind of nice. like a kid. <laughs> Other thing, we got a freaking pattern, man. We got a pattern. Finally. We are, we just caught a fish and it was a big one. This one looks like it's a pretty good one. And the GPS is like, just the dots are all starting to be like, they are throwing all marbles on a, on a table. <clears throat> They're real close. We just spun hard. You were not driving. You know, we're out there, me and Ross are constantly badgering on each other, but you know what? The whole time we are paying attention to exactly what baits we're catching those fish on, what depth of water, what speed we're going, and whether I was driving or Ross was driving, the whole time we were trying to figure out exactly how to get those fish to, to bite the, our baits. And you know, so was, whether it was turning right, turning left, speeding up, slowing down, following contour lines, it's all fun, but you definitely have to pay attention. Let's tell the people at home, we did not know that fish was on. We heard the clicker go and we both jumped. <laughs> I'm over here enjoying a nice little uh, H2O, little beverage, and uh, boom, we hear cut, 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 and the creaking in the rod holder. There he was. He actually took the board under a little bit when he first hit. I like it. Finding that sweet spot. And there's just so much water out there, and that's why it's so important to look at your, you know, your, your GPS. I had that the, the Lake Master chip, I mean, zoomed right in because there was just one little contour that was absolutely a sweet spot. I started hitting waypoints and I turned back as Tommy's driving and I looked down and I'm like, Tom, so we're catching all these fish in this little tiny area, I mean, literally the size of a small parking lot. And we're just kind of working through and we're getting doubles. Pay attention to all those details because as big as the lake is, when you zoom in on that area, you need to get on those fish because as you guys saw, I mean, as fast as they turned on, they turned off too. So you've got to make hay while the sun is shining. Right I, I, I got you. I got you. There it is. Another beauty. Ah, oh, yeah. Chunk and All that's, good fish. That's here. on that uh, cranberry like that deal. Cranberry. Yep. Again. 22, 23 back. I'll tell you what. What are we doing driving wise? You got this? Mm. We're running all these lines. We're doing all these things. And I know the camera guy was sitting there kind of looking at us like, hey, what's going on? Because we're getting one fish here, one fish there. And I mean, that kind of mentally draws on you. And, and Tom's done this enough, too. That's why it's good to have people in the boat that you know have done this a lot. You've got to be at the right spot at the right time when those fish decide to fire. I mean, that's kind of our word. When they want to turn on and do their thing. So you better have the right colors, lead, speed, and be in the right spot. Tommy. Am I right? Tommy. I'm right. No, it's, it's a good one. It is bigger than that. It's about 10. Good job, man. That's mm, a good one. Yummy. That's the biggest one of the night. I couldn't even lose this one, could I? That's the only way that this fish got in the boat because, I mean... Bent the hooks. Tom. That is why we risk That's sleep. a beauty. We risk sleep. We get cold hands. It's getting chilly. The water temp is getting downright... You know who frosty. I feel bad for? That camera guy. Whoo! He's gonna be cold sitting up there. He's tough. He's not like us. That's true. Wow. That, that another goes, beauty. We're gonna take some pictures and let that one go ultimately. But yeah, Tommy. All right. And this fish is the smart fish. This thing came on the right side of the boat. I don't even know how to respond to that. You know, there's one thing when me and you do a show together or fish in general. There's never a lack of talking. No. <laughs> I don't know why. How far? Twenty. Now, there I know you, you guys can't see this, but it's a fat belly. Just net him. Thank goodness. All that talking, if you wouldn't have landed that fish. This, this one is chinned. Tommy. Tommy. Three hooks in that Tommy. thing. Tommy, we are not messing around tonight. <laughs> All three hey, hooks in that thing. Go fat or go home. <laughs> That's right. You deal with that. I'm going to try to drive us out of this. Hey, listen, I want that other board set. Get going. Just an absolute freaking sow belly. I'll tell you what, if that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, nothing will. No, you, you, you need to check your pulse for real. That's right. 
Plus my side of the boat. I what? got to reel the fish in. Here. You got him? Yeah. I'll be honest, I think it's the first fish you've recognized that we had on, even though I mean it pulled it almost behind oh, the boat. Oh my goodness. That folks is a Lake Erie biggin' right there. That's a beauty. Another beauty. That we're, we're gonna take a few pictures of this fish before we let him go. We're gonna make this one famous. There you go. That is no joke. I mean, Tommy, we are not striking as often as I like, but when we do, it ain't no joke. That's right, we're landing them tonight. You're not losing them all like last time. Well, you know, out here, we literally, in the process of that, we had a microphone go bad, a, a battery go down. We had the, the remote. iPilot remote battery flash, and then that's going out. Out here, we talked earlier about things on, you know, me and you talking about the backlight on the hummingbirds and all these little things, but really, there's bigger things that can go off. I mean, absolutely. It's the most important thing when you come out here is, first of all, is safety. There's no doubt. Fortunately, right now, there's a bunch of boats around here. You go to another two hours, there's not going to be anybody out here. And you cannot be out here and wonder whether your boat's going to start or whether you're going to have a problem out here because it's, this water's cold and you're not going to make it long if something happens. Believe me, he knows about boats. He's the owner of Vic Sports Center over in Akron. And I mean, you saw literally hundreds of boats every year and you see the people bringing the problem the next morning and Absolutely. crashed up and dinged up and, you know, batteries. I mean, having an onboard charger, having good quality batteries, having, you know, jumper cables. We talked about having a little jumper pack. You know, even just with Ranger having their jumper switch in them where you can actually, if your starting battery goes down low, boom, you flip it over to a trolling motor battery. But if you don't have good trolling motor batteries, that's not going to help you either. So, you know, a lot of people look at us and, and think we're a little crazy when we say we're spending $1,000 on batteries. Well, listen, it's your lifeline. You've got to do it, you yeah. know. You need to have a backup system. Jumper cables, not $9 jumper cables. Heavy right. gauge, have some longer ones so they can reach from one compartment to the next. You know, we were talking about those little lithium packs now. You know, those are amazing. Those they, things are, they're incredible. They're, they're super small. They're not like the big jump boxes of the past, but you know, having your nav lights, make sure your nav lights are working. Having, having a backup light if they do go down so somebody doesn't run over the top of you. And absolutely the other thing, life jackets, flares, things like that. I did have a friend of mine that got stuck out here one time at two o'clock in the morning, his boat wouldn't start. Thank God he had flares. He shot him off. It was actually another one of my customers saw him go off, came out and got him. So we're high-fiving because we're catching donkey walleyes. <laughs> yeah. But that can go south real fast. Absolutely, you? absolutely. And you have to be super careful out here. Make sure you know what you're doing. It's not for the beginner boater. Get out here and, and learn learn everything about it first and then have a good safe night. Can I, I, can I have? No, you're not taking it. I, I'm a little nervous when Tommy's driving. I don't know. I think I'm going to put us right on that big 12-pounder right now. <laughs> I'm out here with Tom and I mean I said, hey, you know, how, how many fish you think we got? Or hey, this is going pretty good, you know, we're getting, this show's gonna be great. And then Tom decides to make his own episode. Yes, his own episode. Probably still on. Yeah. Okay. There's no way we're snagged. You know, I've been doing this a long time, and just when you think you've been doing it a long time, something like this happens and you don't really know what the heck's going on. That board got pinned down because I'm assuming that's our short line. Is that that 15 back or something like that? I think it is. And it's probably just got... This it's could like be... A, you know what this could be? State record. I don't know what would be. I mean, it would be, be great to get a state record on the camera. It would be horrific for you to A, catch it. And, and B, I'd have to cut the line and right as soon as we got in the net and dump it back over. You know, as soon as you pull that rod out of the rod holder, you know if you've got a big fish or a small fish. And I lifted up on that thing and that fish did not move. I couldn't even tell if I was snagged or if I really had a fish, or what was exactly going on. We're gonna spin back on this like we're tuna fishing. Tommy can't handle a little ball, I Note to self. <laughs> oh, here it goes. You I've know, never, I, 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 I literally had, I've had four-year-olds in my boat, I don't have to spin for them, but that's. Tommy, I'm just telling you, the, don't, don't worry we're at 194 feet now. now. Tommy, I got you. I'm clearing all my lines. I can't catch another one because the whole side's torn in. And he's getting this thing, I mean, it's over here. I literally backed down and drove at him. I mean, it was like, I thought we were in like Florida, we we're in Key West, we marlin fishing? What are we doing? I, this, you know what, Tom, you just never know. I'm almost literally doing a 180. Ross, state record. <laughs> Tommy's the only guy who tries to make an entire episode of the local catch out of one fish. I mean, it's kind of like we're doing all those billfish deals. Have you ever seen that? They get one fish. And That's what I feel up, like right it's now. It's like a five episode deal for one fish. Yeah, there's only 68 feet of line out. I'm getting a little tired.
just won't come in. I think I've been fighting this fish for like 20 minutes. This is, we're on the second episode already. You got a longer net? I, I got an eight foot handle. <coughs> I need about a 12. Let's end this chaos. <laughs> that was crazy. I don't, I don't what know a who's, fighter. who's more tired. You're I think I'm worn out. Or the people watching this debacle. It's probably the poor guy holding that Dude, camera. Dude, it's just a giant hook. He's, I mean, he's hooked all wiggity whack and crap. I mean, he's all. All goofy. I wow. thought it was. I, I thought it was state record. I feel like for I, the record, I just feel exhausted. Look, look at the at belly that. on that's that just fish. A freak show. Look at that. You finally, you did get that thing unhooked. That's good for you. I'm telling you, I thought it was a state record. It fought like it. Everybody's got a buddy like Tom. I mean, we went a long time without a bite right at the beginning of the deal. Middle board. Yep. Going back slow. That's gonna be a good one. Hit the old GPS. <clears throat> oh boy. Keep a hold of that one. I'll get everything clear. We had that little bit of time where it was an absolute melee. We had doubles, we had big fish, Tom's reeling, I'm clearing a line around him, and, and those are the moments. And you know what, as soon as that kicked on, it, it kicked off really that, just that quick again. I mean, boom, it's on, it's off. So having the confidence and knowing kind of what you're doing is really the key to this, and that's what separates the veterans from the rookies. Bingo, bango. That's how you finish out, huh? Does That's it get, a beauty, man. Does it get any better than that? Look at the belly on that fish. I'll tell you what, I think, we, you know what, we're, we're going to go ahead and reel them up and, I think and, it's and it, get man. going in. And, Time. You know, it's just one of those things, man. We had a really a weird night, Tommy. I mean, we started off one fish here, one fish there. And, and you know as well as I do, this time of year, you don't expect to just bash fish all night long, but you're getting quality like this, you know? You know what? The big thing is, is like you said, just sticking with it, knowing that our game plan was going to work. We had to find a little area where those fish were active. And uh, once we found it, man, it was on. I'm gonna throw this in and take a picture before we head in, but. What a beauty. I'll tell you what, another episode with Tom Vadalero on the local catch. Epic. Uh, <laughs> my word didn't start with E, but <laughs> it is good. I'm, man, I'll tell you what. I'm just, good job, man. Gosh, we have a, what lot a great of fun, night. A lot of fun when we fish together. Tell you what, guys, you know, night fishing for walleyes out here, you gotta be safe. You know, like you said, I don't recommend it for rookie rookies. Go with somebody else. That's right. Make sure you got a backup plan. Make sure you got your batteries. You got some jumper cables. You got nav lights, some extra lights, because you can get in trouble in a hurry out here. Absolutely. But it's a great time, especially during the week. There's hardly anybody out here. There's been just a few boats, and you can catch fish like this. I mean, there's what not many night. times when you go out that every night you have the potential of catching. You know, state our, record. Our state records have been caught quite frequently by guys right. night fishing. Even Absolutely. For one shore, so. And especially this time of the year. This is it. My buddy Tom Vadalero, myself Ross Robertson. Go fishing, don't sit on the couch, you can't catch them there. <laughs> Great night.